What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about my testimony. Now my testimony starts really when I was 10 years old. It was the start of the fourth grade and I was getting bullied like every other kid. And a couple months passed after the start of the fourth grade and now I was still getting bullied. I felt like I had no one at all. Not just to talk to, but that locked me. And I would come home from school crying almost every single day. There was this weight on my shoulders like I had nowhere to go for help. Not only that, but I had issues with people and distant family. But that only made me stronger as a person. And if I didn't go through that storm, I wouldn't be the man I am today. People ask, well, why does God put this on me? Or why does this happen? If you don't go through life without a storm or ride through the waves of life, how will you learn to deal with these problems and become the person that God wants you to be? He also wants us to know that we only need to depend on Him and not worry about or be so stressed out all the time about the littlest things that in a year or so won't even matter. If you're having trouble going through that storm, you must look up and see who's in control. It would help if you asked yourself if you're letting God direct you down a path or if you're going down your own path thinking it's better but you couldn't be farther from the truth. You may think that God hates you for letting you go through that storm but you have to go through that storm to get where you need to be. He knows your weaknesses. He wouldn't give you anything that you can handle. God loves you. I struggle with this myself and sometimes I think that no one loves me but his love will never stop. You may think your girlfriend or boyfriend broke up with you and stopped loving you but someone did not stop loving you and that was Jesus Christ. When he was on the cross and in pain, a nail in each hand and his feet with a crown of thorns on his head, he thought of every single one of us, even our future family. His love will never stop. He helped me to talk to you guys and share the love of Christ and to get through every storm that will come my way. He's got me to where I can take college classes. Before I was struggling in school and I couldn't learn and now I can and I'm able to talk to people better and I've got a video that's over a thousand views. And this isn't me bragging, I'm just showing you with Jesus anything is possible. Odds are the position that y'all were in a year ago, you probably would have never dreamed of being where you are right now. He will get you through that storm and that will build your testimony so you can tell others how to get through their problems and not to be worried all the time about what's going to happen next. As I said in my earlier life, I was getting made fun of all the time and I was dealing with depression and coming home every day crying and now I get to help people that was in my position 10 years ago. Just because I got through that storm doesn't mean I'm not going to go through another storm, but I know I can conquer anything that comes my way, and you can too. Our primary purpose on earth is to plant a seed and let Jesus water that seed so he can take that seed and make it the best version of itself. And we may plant the seed in different ways, in different situations, but we all have the same purpose. Sometimes I think that us people are like a sailboat in a big open ocean. And when I'm in that storm, I'm always reminded that no matter how the waves or how strong the tropical storm is, I will keep on sailing because God is my captain. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all got something out of this. Videos every other weekend. Subscribe if you're on already. Jesus loves you. Love out the fullest. Cranston out of here.